Hey, how's it going guys? My Slip Deer 20 and welcome back to Minecraft on the Border Hoarder map. So, if you guys are new here, Border Hoarder is a map where I have to collect every single Minecraft item in 1.19 and expands our lovely little border. I mean, you can't really see it because we have so many items, like over 700 now. But, uh, yeah, it expands the border and we have to collect some more. So today's episode, I do plan to go to the end, fight the Ender Dragon, and try to get a lot of blocks and whatnot that way. Uh, definitely gonna need a lot of shulker shells once we make it there, but, uh, we need to get a little bit of loot going on. We need some food. That's the main thing. I do have some golden apples, which will be very useful for the fight, but I do need to farm for some, like, uh, blaze rods, some ender pearls, that sort of stuff, so gonna need some, like, cooked food you know i guess while we're here let's try to get some bottled honey as well we can make a uh honey block in the future so i think i'm gonna use carrots for now so that way i can go find a warped forest kill some enderman get some iron pearls that sort of stuff but i think first things first i'm gonna try to make some diamond armor or no we already have a helmet perfect i was about to say i just need a helmet but we don't need to worry too much about that. And then we should focus on getting some netherite stuff in the future as well. But we can worry about that later. Okay, respiration three. I'm breaking three. I'll take it for now. I'll take whatever I can get. And then if I feel like reforging, I'll reforge it. If not, then no big deal, you know? We've got protection three. Let's go. And then protection four. Ooh, even better. And destroyer two. Woo! Protection 3 as well. Let's go. So we got a pretty good lineup right here. Uh, we should probably focus on trying to get some mending books then. At least trying to make sure we have a fully upgraded uh, diamond set. So I'm going to need some books and some emeralds. So let's go find some of that real quick. All right. We got six leather, which is more than enough for, uh, for some books. We should probably upgrade a bow as well. I'm going to try to get a level 27 bow. I'm not going to worry too much about the... Uh, like proper leveling there so it seems like the only highest level i can get to is 24 so i'll just take that i guess uh power three punch one not bad not bad but now we must go and get ourselves a lovely little enchanted book and there we go four mending books did we get an upgrade no we didn't okay and there we go full set of mending diamond armor and then we do have a few bows here and there i'll just combine with we might have a punch one bow somewhere Probably more so at our, uh, at our mob farm. So I'm gonna go take a look there, try to see if we can find any, uh, any good bows that I can just snag here and there. Oh yeah, we can probably get this, uh, rooted dirt thing. There we go. And then, don't they also, like, sprout some, uh, dirt once you bow meal them? Or not dirt, but, uh, roots? Because that is the next thing we do need to get there as well. Uh, we got an unbreaking one. I guess I'll take that. I thought there was a lot more than, uh, a lot more than that. All right. Ooh, we got an Enderman straight off the bat. I was about to say, let's go find some Enderman. I did bring my Iron Pickaxe as well, so we can get some nice warped, uh, warped Netherrack type of stuff. And we got two pearls. Let's go. I think I'm going to go for at least, like, a stack of Ender Pearls, so that way we can, uh, make sure we have enough just in case it's a little further than I expect it to be. If we get really lucky, we might find a, uh, a second Bastion. I'm going to get some pig step this time. Okay, we did find a second Bastion. Maybe we'll find pig step. Ooh, okay, we're being shot at. Uh, sir, stop shooting me. Alright, just like last time, we should probably be careful, because there will be piglin brutes in there. And those guys are very, very scary. I'm gonna mainly use the iron sword with sharpness 5 on it, because it will at least do some damage to these guys, since they're not undead. Okay, that could've been bad. Ooh, look who I found. We got a brute just standing right down there. Trying to sneak up on me, I see. All right, well, majority of the uh, piglins seem to be down here, thankfully. Man, thank God for our uh, bow here. Pretty much doing, like, one shot to all these uh, pigmen, fellas. <gasps> oh, guys, we found it. Holy Christ. I did not expect it to be in this chest specifically. I was expecting it more so to be, like, in those chests down there, but hey, I'll take it. Holy Christ. Oh, we are so lucky. We are so lucky. Oh, you know what? I just realized we're gonna need to find a uh we're gonna need to find some rabbits here soon so that way we can get a uh ooh, another chest. So that way we can get rabbit hide and whatnot. Oh god, we got brood on us. Ooh, buddy, stay away from me, please. Your breast smells. Ah, I see nice little blue over there. You know what? We're gonna get some ender pearls regardless. I'm gonna kind of throw one over there. Okay, I screwed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Well, this is, uh, this is really bad. I'm just gonna do that and then hope for the best here because uh, we're kind of burning. Kind of, kind of burning. All right, we're good. Great job, guys. 
See, stay calm. Everything's fine. Not gonna lie. Internally, I was like screaming. Ooh, we got a lot of angry men over here. Uh, there's like three up there. All right, we got seven in the pearls now. Well, thankfully, I don't need to use my uh, pickaxe for to warp my uh, Nicelium. Not, or Nilium. Nilium? Nilium? God damn, I can't even speak. Nilium. Aha, there we go. One stack of ender pearls. Now, we need to make our way back home. And there's only one way I can do that. By doing some sketchy ass shit. You see, building a bridge above the uh, lava pool, just a one block bridge, has never gone wrong for me. Never. Except for the few times where I got shot by gas or hit by a magma cube or uh, chased off by zombie pigmen because somebody accidentally punched one. Aha! We can do it right above the gas this time. I should probably make sure I have enough blaze rods. I'm certain I do, but I don't know how many I have. Holy Christ. That is an army of weather skeletons. Where did you all come from? I don't understand where they all came from. That was like the most amount of weather skeletons I've ever seen in my life. Actually, hang on, I should probably grab that cool. Look at this. Look how many weather skeletons there are. I've never seen this many, uh, this many weather skeletons or even just mobs in general. There's so many. All right, I just need two more blaze rods. All right, we got more than enough right here. So we can probably use some of that later on for like potions and whatnot. Oh, we can use, uh, we can use one of the ender pearls to make a ender chest because we should have, yeah, we got 11 obsidian. Let's go. All right, let's get started on crafting some stuff. Uh, get some blaze powder. And we make some eyes of Endor. And with that, we can make one Ender chest. Bada boom. And let's uh, place one down right here. Why not? And we can place our diamonds and valuables and whatnot. So that we have a little bit of uh, wiggle room here. All right. We can make a lovely honey block. Which will progress us just by one more block, but still. All right. Well, I think we should start going soon. Let me cook up my pork chops. And I feel like we should go find the end portal and fight the ender dragon. Because there's not really a lot left that we can collect. So I'm assuming it should be like within this range now. It's like we can only really go, I think, like maybe about 30 to 40 blocks extra. But even then, that's like way too little. I'm going to bring my silk touch pickaxe as well. Mainly because I feel like there's a few stuff we can grab, you know, like cobwebs. But just in case anything else shows up, we need to grab. You know, I just realized we probably should have brought a bit, but eh, oh well, we ball. So we still keep on going this direction. Hopefully we don't need to go too much further. Ah, my pearl broke. Ah, uh, we still have to keep on going. No. All right, fine. We'll go another like 40 blocks more. Well, on the plus side, we finally made it to the, uh, what do you say? We finally made it to the spruce biome here. Probably make myself an axe here so that I can get a few axed items, you know, like shave the uh, log off. And then we can get a few items here completed as well. And we do need to find powdered snow. That would probably be a good one to grab here soon. There we go. Powdered snow. Can we soak touch it? No. At least not with a uh, pickaxe. I don't think we can actually have it as an actual, like, physical block type of thing. We do got some ice up here, so I can take that at least. Ooh, we should probably get normal ice, because this is only packed ice, so... Oh, I just realized we're also going to need to get the uh, light blue ice as well. That's probably going to be a uh, wandering traveler thing. Oh, hey, we got a uh, normal ice right here. My water bucket froze. Anyway, we did expand our border by like, I don't know, 10, 20... Somewhere around there. Ooh, maybe we'll get the uh, chainmail chest piece because that's the last piece of uh, armor we need from this. No, damn it. All right, well, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to see if we can find a, what is it called? A ocean temple because of the fact that we cannot go to the uh, to the end portal yet. All right, we're going to make my way back home so it does not seem like we can make it to the area where I believe the end portal would be because I feel like, again... We only have such limited items in the overworld we can actually make it to. I'm gonna see if we can find this buried treasure. I think it's this direction, if I'm reading the map correctly. Not too certain, though. I gotta, gotta really make sure I learn how to read the coordinates properly, because I think this is north. Do you guys see what I see? I see a lovely little ocean monument. Wait, do you guys also see that? That can't be it. That cannot be it. I think that's a uh, Mushum Island. Oh, hang on. We gotta check this out. It is. Oh my god. I love finding Mushum Islands. Oh, there's some Mushum cows there too. Uh, let me get some mycelium first. There we go. Oh, and we should probably go for the uh, little mushroom thing here because I think that's also a thing we need. So let me break you. 
And let me break you. And we should probably bring you guys back home. But first things first, we're going to go fight the uh, ocean monument. Now I'm going to carry my sharpness sword because we need to be able to actually fight the uh, guardian fellas. All right, so far have not been affected by the thing yet. There should be some other guardians around. Ah, there we go. Now we got the effect on us. I was waiting for that. Ooh, I just realized we can also get sponges here as well. Ah, there's the big fella. Come here, you. Okay, we're gonna die here. Gonna have to uh, heal up real quick. There we go. We just killed a uh, Elder Guardian. And we got a sponge, too. Aha, there's the second guy. And then there should be one more after you. There's the last Elder Guardian. And she should be dead here in a second. There we go. And now we don't have to worry about her. All right, I think we got pretty much every block we can from this little monument here. Oh, I just realized there's two ocean monuments right next to each other. Okay. Okay, guys, I uh, I made two big mistakes. One, I accidentally dropped my sword and I have no clue where it is. And two, I have no clue where I'm going. So I'm going to try to kind of backtrack my steps here. Try to see if I can find my sword. And then, oh, no, nope, I found my house. Uh, guess I'm not gonna have my sword, though, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so there's a few things we can make. I'm gonna try to jot this down so that way we can make all this stuff, and then hope for the best that that's enough to go to the end. All right, we got a few stuff we can do here. I'm gonna make them then. All right, well, we did a lot of work here. Hopefully, that's enough now. I don't want to continue forward just doing, you know all this work for nothing all right hopefully we got enough progress done i have like at least 20 blocks now hopefully that's more than enough all right we're all the way over here now please please tell me we don't need to continue too much further i don't want to throw so many eyes of ender into nothingness ah uh, it looks like we need to keep on going all right, I'll go and try and get, like, another hundred more items, because apparently that's what we need to get. Ooh, we got a wandering traveler over here. Let's see if we can find anything good from him. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we need some of this stuff. Mainly the lily pad and blue ice. So let's go back and find our, uh, what do you say? Find our emeralds and then buy those stuff. Hopefully he doesn't despawn because we do need those items. All right, one lily pad and one blue ice and we got that step complete. All right, so I'm out exploring a little bit, trying to see if I can find anything interesting. If I don't find anything interesting, I'm probably going to call it an episode after that. And next episode, I'll probably focus on finishing up my grinding sesh and then go to the end. Because I feel like we just need the last little bit of like items that we can get before we can go to the end. Because I do not know. I don't know what else we could do after that, you know? You know, I remember back then in Minecraft where if you went into the desert, you had a pretty good chance of finding like a monster spawner. And there is a reason for this. And I remember talking to my friends. Oh, wait, hang on. There's some rabbits here. Uh, can't kill you. You guys are babies, but you're not. So let me kill you. Ooh, we got a rabbit hide and a rabbit, uh, raw rabbit. Nice. But what I was saying is, back then, you could find a monster spawner. And the reason why that was, was because of the fact that when the world was generated, the sand would just fall because of the, uh, monster spawner. But nowadays, you can't exactly find it that easily. They actually fixed that out, like, a few updates ago. Well, kind of a lot of updates ago, but still. But I remember talking to my friends, and I was like, hey, you guys remember this happening in Minecraft? And they were like, what on earth are you talking about? And I felt like I was being gaslit, but I knew it was a thing because I remember finding it so many times. And after doing a little bit of research, I knew the uh, truth was because, well, they patched it out. So they probably didn't get to experience it too often uh, back then. And I felt like I was a genius there, not gonna lie. Because I remember, ooh, Jesus Christ, that's an acacia biome. But I felt like I was a genius there because I was like, yep. I knew it. I was correct because I knew what I was doing when I was like 11 years old messing around with some of these worlds. I made a lot of bases inside the desert, I'm not gonna lie. My favorite one was this like one desert thing I made. Ooh, is that a mangrove biome as well? And a village? Oh, where was this ages ago? Anyway, I remember, uh, remember making this like monster spawner in the desert. I had a horse and, uh... And it had on top of it like a tree farm. And it was like the greatest thing in the world, at least at the time to me. Uh, looking at, looking back at it now, it wasn't the best thing in the world, so, uh, kind of, kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But, hey, you know, I took what I could get. Alright, let's get some of these roots here. And then, is there a log itself? Yes, there is. Ooh, and a sapling ready to be harvested. 
Gonna take that as well. And some leaves. Ooh, we got some frogs here. I can't remember how we breed them. Can we pick you up with a bucket? The answer is no. I know we can get tadpoles in a bucket thing, but frogs itself, I'm not too certain on that aspect. All right, gonna get one lovely acacia tree here. I'm gonna bring the sapling back so that way we can, uh, what do you say? We can grow some more back at base. Holy Christ. That is a lot of creepers and skeletons. What's up with all the mobs today? Like, they keep on duplicating with like 20 of each creatures, like nearby. Back here, Wabbit, I need a lucky rabbit foot. Ah, nothing. All right, I'm going to head back home and then we'll end off the episode from there. All right, so I'm going to end off the episode here. I'm going to have my character sit by all this lovely little copper that we have over here. And let it weather up so that way next episode we have it all completely like oxidized, wax uh, axe it, that sort of stuff. And then next episode we'll go to the end. So, if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without other way, this has been Loaded20, signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>